Hi, this is Jane from the SC4 Library. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, find scholarly peer-reviewed articles using the OneSearch box. So you want to go to the library homepage and you can just Google SC4 Library. Ooh, no typos there. Usually it's the first thing that comes up. And the one search box is right here. And I'm going to look for articles on hunger or the homeless and um, college students, like college students that have um, food anxiety or food insecurity. So first, I'm going to put in college students as a phrase. So I'm putting it in quotation marks for college students in quotes. And then I'm going to use the Boolean operator AND in capital letters. And then I'm going to use the term food insecurity or hunger. So I have want to put my ORs in parentheses so that it searches that part first before the rest of the search string. So in hunger or food insecurity. End quote, end parentheses. Click on find it. And we found uh, over 30,000 results. There'll be books, uh, journal articles, magazine articles, newspapers, some streaming videos if we have them. We can narrow down using this column in the left hand uh, side here. So I want peer reviewed articles because maybe your instructor told you they have to be peer reviewed, which meant means they're very scholarly and reviewed by experts in the field before they can be published. So I'll just check that box. And we've narrowed it down to a little over 4,000 results. If you wanted to, you could say just full text online, like if you need the article immediately. But if we don't have an article, you can always interlibrary loan it. Um, and you would just go to the library homepage, click on interlibrary loan, and. Um, fill out the form that way. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm choosing this third one here, food insecurity prevalence among college students at the University of Hawaii. Click on the title. It will prompt you to log in with your portal username and password if you're off campus, of course. Then it, we do have the full text available. It's a ProQuest in the ProQuest database. And it's out of Public Health Nutrition, volume issue number is from November of 2009. This is the title of the article. An abstract of the article follows, which is like a, a, a summary of the article. Some conclusions. Over in the right-hand column, there's some other related items that might be of interest to you. And then sometimes the full text follows in an HTML format. Sometimes it's only available in a PDF format. ProQuest allows you to listen to the article, so you could click here to have it play for you. If I scroll back up here, I can download a PDF of the article. On my computer, it downloads over here. And there's a PDF, which looks like exactly like the original article in print. So, it would have any charts or graphs. It also gives you the exact page numbers here. That's actually the page number. So if you're taking a quote out of the article, you have the exact page number for your in-text or parenthetical citation. And then you can download the article there or print. I'm going to go back to my article. It opened it as a separate tab. You may need to cite it. You can click here to cite. ProQuest databases bring up the APA citation first, which you would need in a psychology class or nursing, criminal justice, or an English class, you want MLA 8th edition. There's my MLA citation. If I look it over, it's correct. All you need to do is add the access date at the end. Access date comes first. So in this case, it would be 28. APR for April 2020 period. You can click three times on it, copy it, and paste it into your works cited. This is up 
Now I want to go back to my result list. It opened as a new tab so I can click on results. Just want to show you another article, this first one here. Um, it's a feeling that one is not worth food, a quantitative study, qualitative study, excuse me. If I click on this one, it goes to the database Science Direct, uh, an excellent, very reputable database. Um, it's out of the Journal of Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics from October 2019, so very current article. And then the abstract of the article is here down at the bottom. It does tell us keywords, so there might be some better keywords than the ones in which we used. Um, this one again, the PDF is available up here that you could download. Science Direct doesn't easily tell you the so how to find the citation to the article. You can export it. We have RefWorks, which is available and explained in another location, um, and we can help you with using RefWorks if you want to. But you can always go back to your result list. Sorry, my dog barking. And under the one search under cite this item, click on cite this item, then choose MLA or APA format. In this case, I'm going to choose MLA. Brings up the MLA citation, the first part of it. Um, so you can triple click on it again. It doesn't include the name of the database. So you'd have to add at the end, science direct, comma, accessed, 28 APR 2020 or the current date. So it makes it quite easy for you. Thank you.